Hi guys, well today we're going to talk about how to set the correct loudness units for your audio projects within Adobe Audition. Welcome back to David talking tech and audio. Remember you can subscribe here, drop me a like and also turn on all notifications so you never miss another video. So what are loudness units and why are they important? Well, there's an industry standard that we now measure loudness in called LUFS and it's loudness units relative to full scale. The idea behind it being that if you're watching content, say here on YouTube or listening to content on Spotify or Apple podcasts, you shouldn't continually be reaching for the volume knob to turn up and down. Everything should be a nice, even standard. And that is why LUFS are important. And you should be sending your audio out or your videos out at the correct loudness to make sure you're in control of how it sounds and that a third party isn't compressing to make them sound louder or quieter and you won't be in control of those results. So that's what we're going to be covering in this week's video. And just to let you know that although I work on a Mac, Adobe Audition works just as well on a PC. And I think the only difference is when I say command, it's control for you guys over on PC. But other than that, everything works the same on both platforms. So I think what we should do now is go and grab some audio and show you how you can match your loudness unit so it goes out to the platform of your choice at the correct loudness standards. So let's get into it. Here we are then back inside of Adobe Audition. I mentioned a short while ago, don't forget anything I show you now working on a Mac works exactly the same on a PC, except when I hit command, you hit control. But before we get going on the point of this week's video, loudness units, let me just give you a quick tip. If you open any of the apps from Creative Cloud up and they're not in full screen, here's what to do. Just double click on that name. There you go, simple as that, you're now in full screen. So in order that I can show you how loudness units work, I need to record some audio. So let's go ahead and do just that by hitting the record button. I shall call it test. And we'll leave it 4800 as it's going into video. Mono for my voice and 32-bit float always. Hi, my name's David, and here on the channel, we have great fun talking tech and audio. If you'd like to drop me a like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you never miss another video, that helps me and the channel out. And on this week's video, we are talking about loudness for your audio projects and how to set the correct loudness audio units by using tools with inside of Adobe Audition and also a plugin as well. So thanks for watching, and let's get back into this week's video. OK, so we have ourselves a little bit of audio now. And uh, there's two things I'm going to show on this week's video. I'm going to show you how to uh, work non-destructively inside the multi-track and then how to work destructively inside of Waveform. So what we're going to do, first of all, is open ourselves up a new multi-track session. I'll show you that first by going to New, Multi-Track. It's going to be a mon uh, no templates used there. We can call this Test Session. Wish I could type quicker. I think that's spelled correctly. No, it's not two eyes. I do like attention to detail. Uh, and it's going into the downloads. There we go. And I'll have it as a mono because we're just doing voice in this instance. And you know it's mono, by the way, because these bars here, the audio bars, are just one bar. If I was to add in a stereo track, which you do by right clicking and adding in a stereo track, You'll see there, there are two little squares showing you that that is now stereo. But we're going to be working in here. And what I'm going to do is drag in the track that we just recorded. There we go. And let's play that back now so we can hear what it sounds like before we do anything. Hi, my name's David. And here on the channel, we have great fun talking tech and audio. If you'd like to drop me a like, subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss another video, that helps me and the channel out. And on this week's video, we are talking about loudness for your audio projects and how to set the correct loudness audio units by using tools with inside of Adobe Audition and also a plugin as well. So thanks for watching and let's get back into this week's video. Right, it's time we start to get into the detail now of making this the correct loudness units for when you bounce out as a WAV or an MP3 for your media host. And the way that I go about doing this is in the multi-track as we're working now, non-destructive, I go down to what used to be called the master track, but they now call it the mix track. And we're going to pull up the effects track. Don't forget, if you don't see the effects track, it'll be up there in the windows and you can open it up from there. And I will be showing you in a future video how to set up workspaces for yourself. So in this 
track on this master track the mix track anything then that you put into any of these channels will be affected by this master out it's the last thing that happens to your files so there's a chain as always in an effects track and the first thing I'm going to do which I will explain in a little while is add in a hard limiter and I'm going to set it with a headroom of minus three that gives us plenty of good headroom there and do nothing more with that for the time being these are native effects as I say within Adobe and I would then go in and add in the loudness meter which was added into Adobe this year it comes with presets as you can see for YouTube for Spotify for Netflix and for Apple podcasts and for Apple podcasts it is set to minus 16 luffs so that's great so we've got that in there now in our rack and the last thing I'm going to add in these are all native as I say to Adobe Audition no extra money needs to be spent we're going to go back into special and pick up the loudness radar meter which was bought as a third party uh, uh, plugin by Adobe from TC Electronics it's been around forever it's pretty useful to have graphically the way it works is you auto in here by just sliding this up and down as to what you want your loudness units to be and make sure that you're working in the correct luffs setting which is what you want and then when we're using it you're looking for the audio to be peaking around around this second ring here and you will also see the audio coming up here so i'm going to have these windows open these are all native apps within adobe and i will then show you what we need to do and this is why i think we're going to need to use the hard limiter so hopefully you can see all of those now let's play this audio back Hi, my name's David, and here on the channel, we have great fun talking tech and audio. If you'd like to drop me a like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you never miss another video, that helps me and the channel out. And on this week's video, we are talking about loudness for your audio projects and how to set the correct loudness audio unit by using tools with inside of Adobe Audition and also a plugin as well. So thanks for watching, and let's get back into this week's video. So there you go. It does pose a slight problem. It's only a short clip. Obviously, I've kept it a short clip just for the purposes of this tutorial. It works better if you've got uh, certainly a minute or more for it to analyze. But anyway, we'll work with what we've got for now. It will show us what's going on. So we can see here that we are at minus 25. Integrated is the longer term, short term 26. They're very similar, to be honest with you. And what we need to do is get that down to minus 16. So we are knowing that we want to send this out at a minus 16 luff setting. We're at minus... 26 27 so what we need to do is increase the loudness the amplitude and that we do via this hard limiter which is why i put that in so in this input boost you can just click in there and i reckon if we take that up by 12 decibels and now i will reset this so that it's fresh and we'll play this track back now and see where we're coming to on the graph here on the radar and also what these figures are saying here Hi, my name's David, and here on the channel, we have great fun talking tech and audio. If you'd like to drop me a like, subscribe, and turn on all notifications so you never miss another video, that helps me and the channel out. And on this week's video, we are talking about loudness for your audio projects and how to set the correct loudness audio units by using tools with inside of Adobe Audition and also a plugin as well. So thanks for watching, and let's get back into this week's video. So there you go, pretty close, weren't we? 15.6, you could literally go there and call it 11.2, 11.6, something like that, and get it absolutely pin accurate. As I say, if we had a longer file, it would clearly work better on this longer term figure. But I'm reasonably happy with that. And I would I'd say I might spend some time just granularly sorting that out. But basically, that is how you use these native effects within Adobe Audition. You saw here, we're certainly hitting the minus 16 here. That's how I would get this file ready to export. And then if you're wondering how you export, I've got a hotkey set up, which is simply called F, but to uh, show you on the video how you do it, if you haven't got a hotkey set up, you go into here, export, and then it is export the entire session from the multi-track mix down. You can see I've got the F there. And here you are, ready to bounce out into the downloads in mono, boom. We have now exported that track and I would always save down your session in case you need it for further use. Not that I expect to use that again today, but there you go. That's our session now saved. And now I was going to show you how to work on this if you were just working destructively in the WAV form. So if we go into our original file here, this is now in the WAV form editor. So anything we do is destructive. First of all, I would run amplitude and statistics. It's showing, as we saw previously, 
in uh, multi-track it's coming at 25.74 so we know that is not the correct loudness unit so here what we can do is go over to match loudness make sure that you have got the itu setting and that it's set to minus 16 if you're going out to apple obviously if it's spotify or youtube you'd alter that simply by clicking in it and typing in your number which would be minus 14 for those other platforms drag your file into it we don't need to export this now run it scan it again and we're now at 16.57 so there you go we have now created a podcast at the correct loudness units and it's as simple as that and if you do this in the waveform editor as we are now just remember that, that is destructive once you've saved that out you can't go back and undo it so there you go two ways of working with native products within Adobe Audition and how to achieve the correct loudness unit standards for your podcasts and audio projects. So there you go. It's as simple as that. You now know how to match your audio to the correct loudness standards using Adobe Audition. This does also work in Premiere Pro and I might show you that in a future video, but this is the basic way that you set all of your audio to the correct loudness standards. Let me know, have I covered everything you want to know now about loudness standards or is there something that you're doing that I don't know about? Let me know in the comments below. And also, I'd really appreciate it if you can subscribe here, drop me a like, and also turn on all notifications so that you never miss another video. And if you like this video, you may just enjoy this one too. It's where I talk about Descript, a brilliant online tool that makes your audio sound as good as that of a professional editor. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.